Okay, the Lego Batman movie is amazing. They actually have to use the score from, from Danny Elfman for Batman. It says that Superman, they also use the John Williams scores. Beautiful. There's so many little tidbits here and there. You can tell that when they make Lego movies using superheroes, they really, really know what they're doing. Plot. Very simple. Lex Luthor is ticked off that Bruce Wayne wins the Man of the Year award. And then decides that he's going to use the Joker as a way to help himself get elected president. On the villain side, you have Lex Luthor, Joker, Catwoman, Two-Face, Bane, Poison Ivy, Riddler, <laughs> Harley Quinn, Penguin. I think, that, I think that's it for your, your primary villains. <laughs> On the hero side, Batman, Robin, Superman, Martian Manhunter. Green Lantern, Flash, Cyborg, Wonder Woman. And that's it for your hero side. Ironically, this plot is very simple. It makes really great sense. It has a tremendous amount of little inside jokes. It's barely over an hour in length. Ends with a cliffhanger because think there's going to be another movie, and it's going to be pretty awesome. And it's got almost every single character that they've mentioned could potentially be in Superman vs. Batman Dawn of Justice. You could almost take this movie, tweak it a little bit, make live action, and I think you could have an amazing Superman vs. Batman Dawn of Justice. Now, this is February 27th, uh, 2015, and we, we did lose an amazing actor, Leonard Nimoy. May his, may his spirit and his work live long and prosper.